and I broke up. What the hell is this true, guys? Anna and Glenn have supposedly broken up, and I don't buy it. I refuse. I don't buy it I at refuse. all. Because Anna seemed like she was joking a little bit, like on her post. I think she was a bit nervous, maybe. And yeah. I she didn't know how to address it, and I think she what knows. What the hell is she going knows she's on? Down her fans. Yeah, I thought that as well. I feel like she. I thought said first, that. is she joking? Mm. And then secondly, I thought that Mars. I thought yeah, maybe I she's worried about letting people down, and she's scared, and she's that. nervous. I can't believe it, guys. I truly can't believe it. They've been yeah. together for eight years. Yeah. Eight years, they seemed so in love. Glenn was always at Anna's beck and call. Mm. And Anna showed him so much love and appreciation. Like, the love and devotion and appreciation between the both of them is just unreal. We've been dating for eight years, and we've only had, like, three fights in our whole relationship. And I'm going to tell you how. I said to Marzi, though, a month ago, Anna went on a cruise. Mm. And she wasn't there with Glenn. Yeah. And I thought, why are they not together? Yeah. Because they're always, always together. together yeah. They're always joined at the hip. And I thought, yeah. why is Glenn not there? So these are the two things that are going through my mind right now. They've only just broken up. They've only just put this out a couple hours ago. And I want to find out more. What the hell? Everyone's going to want to know. Oh, we all want to know. All the fans. Anna. No, it can't be. Anna, it tell us. Joke. Tell us what's going on. Yeah. Is this a bet? Is this a bet that you've lost and you've had to say that you've broken up with Glenn? Or is there something that. more? No, that's not her character. That's my I don't character. Think they would. I don't that's think my they... character. It's not Anna's. Anna's such a lovely girl. Anna, yeah. tell us what is going on. You know, you said that you've been together for eight years, but you love that. You love that you're each other's first. You say this all the time. You're each other's first. You love that. People you even had a post. Yeah, I know, but she even had a post. How do people date today? How do people date today? And I thought, yeah, I, don't, I have no idea as well. I can't no, stand right. it either. She asked that? No, she didn't ask that. Someone said she was. How long ago? Uh, a couple of months ago, she said, I don't know how people just randomly date and get over people. Could she be asking, like... No, they... no, she wouldn't do that. She wouldn't do that. Oh, we're speculating, like, guys. We're speculating. Having issues there, like... No, there's no issues between Anna and Paul. I want to know what's going on. Between Anna and Paul! Yeah, Anna yeah. and Glenn! Anna and Glenn, Anna and Paul. I want to know what's going on. Because this is so unusual. And Glenn wrote this. Anna and I are no longer together, but still love each other very much. Then stay together. <laughs> I know this will be shocking for everyone to hear, but we are both on very good terms and will always have room in our hearts for each other. No. I feel like they've grown apart. No. And just gonna remain friends, you know. No. Apart. Yeah, I know, but not them two. <laughs> they don't grow apart. I would love to know what's going on. You've got to tell us, guys. You have to tell us. We're dying to know. I'm sure they'll address it more. What do you guys think? Do you think this is a joke or do you think this is legit? Let us know in the comments. I love him so much, but we're just not in a relationship anymore. We are now both single and I don't know how to make this video. So Glenn and I broke up. Yep. Um, we worked together for eight years and I know that my relationship is a relationship that you guys looked up to as in like, the only reason I believe in love is because I know him, Glenn, you know, um, and we still love each other so much and it was a mutual breakup, you know, we've been together since we were 16 or 15 and now we're 24 uh, and like he's still my, I love him so much but we're just not in a relationship anymore, we are now both single and I don't know how to make this video. <laughs> I'm honestly going to post the first take, which is this one, I don't know how else to say this but yeah. It's a mutual, mutual decision and we love each other a lot and that's what is, that's what's happened. So, yeah. Glenn left today. Um, okay, so I'm going to make a video explaining everything because our breakup video got 30 million views and breakups are hard, but you know what's even more hard? When 30 million people have something to say about it and everyone is being so nice, so nice. I cannot believe it and I just want to thank you all so much and so does Glenn. We can't believe how nice you guys are being and how supportive, so thank you so much, okay? We're one big family. I know the parents have gotten a divorce, but we're going to be fine, okay? All, all of us together, okay? We're going to get through it. So a couple of things. Number one, the breakup was mutual. And I know that you guys are saying it wasn't mutual because we didn't say yes. I know. I'm so sorry. I should have ran it by you guys first. I really should have.
But in all honesty, this breakup was a very long time coming, okay? We've been together for eight years and relationships go through ups and downs and not fights, but more like, should we even be together? Like, is this, is this right? Is this, you know, it's, it has had that for a long time. There have been moments where we've been close to breaking up very often, actually, uh, out of love, like, like mutual breakups. Um, so that's why I'm not insanely shocked and he's not insanely shocked and people are like why doesn't Anna look sad you know I am sad trust me I've been crying okay and Glenn's been crying but we're not like shocked like shattered I can't believe this has happened we're kind of like okay here it is it's actually actually come now you know what I mean that's the vibe okay so trust me we have both mourned this breakup multiple times uh it's not a new shock to us Number two, uh, there's a lot of rumors, of course, of course, this would happen. There's so many rumors circulating. Glenn cheated on Anna and that Glenn posted on his close friend's story that he cheated on Anna and Anna has no idea, but now Anna's going to find out and oh, Anna cheated on Glenn when she was overseas. And oh, what else did I say? Oh, Glenn wants to settle down and have a family, but Anna wasn't ready. So Anna broke up with Glenn. What are you guys talking about? Please. This was a completely mutual decision between the both of us. And that is it. There's no bad blood. There's no team Anna, team Glenn. There's none of that. I promise you, it's not juicy. There's nothing juicy about this breakup. I'm so sorry. I know you guys love the juice. There is no juice in this. I'm so sorry. Next, we still love each other so much, okay? We are still best friends. So you're still going to see him in videos here and there. I'm still going to hang out with him here and there. I really am, okay? I said to him, hey, do you want to go to a cooking class soon? He's like, yeah. He's like, if you ever need to help with anything, call me. I'll be there. I was like, I actually will. And I'm going to look for things. I'm going to be like... Hmm, is my cabinet broken? Glenn, I think you have to come over. My cabinet's broken. Uh, yeah, but please be respectful of our decision too because I know every TikTok I'm going to post in the next year, the comments are just going to be like, get back with Glenn. We miss Glenn. Please don't do that. It breaks my heart. It's going to make me really sad seeing that all the time. So please like respect that we have made this decision and that it wasn't easy, but it's the right one for both of us and we're both going to be okay and we're both going to be really happy. Thankfully, though, through this breakup, we have you guys and we have our family. So I have my family. He has his family. His family is the best family in the world. They're really going to be there for him a lot. And he's has so much fun with these with his family. So I'm really happy for him to just spend so much time with them and get really happy and do so many nice things with them. And same with myself. My family is so supportive and so nice. And I'm so excited to spend a lot of time with them. We're, we both have really good support systems behind us. So trust me, we're both going to be fine. If he's ever sad... I'm a phone call away. If I'm ever sad, I'm giving him a quick call for real. So it's all, it's honestly the most healthy breakup you could imagine on planet Earth. Really, really. And I think that's why we lasted so long in a, as a couple in a relationship because we don't do fights. We don't do play games. There's no drama. So even our breakup is the healthiest breakup on planet Earth. So uh, yeah, we're both happy and we're both sad. Uh, yeah. The only thing that is actually hurtful and damaging are the conspiracy theories here and there. Like, I think this happened and it has like 50,000 likes and everyone's like, yeah, I agree. That definitely happened. You can see it in their eyes. And it's like, what? Like, Glenn called me into the gaming room yesterday. He's like, Anna, can you please come in here? I'm really sad. I was like, yes, of course. I was in there in a second. I was like, what's wrong? He's like, people have made fake screenshots that I cheated on you and I'm really sad. And I don't want people to think that. And people are messaging me like, how could you? And I'm like, please don't read those. Please don't read the fake shit, okay? Like, that is the damaging shit. When 50,000 people agree that Glenn definitely cheated on Anna and his DMs are full, like, why do you cheat on her? You never deserved her, blah, 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 blah. And same, I've been getting the messages too, like, can't believe you let Glenn go, you skank, you slut, you're never going to get anyone. Oh my goodness, please, we love each other so much. Can't you guys just be happy too and love too? Like, I know majority of you are, but yeah, those TikToks and stuff, they're, they're really damaging and just not not nice at all. Just don't do that. There's no need. Nothing that has happened. I know you want the tea. I know you want the drama, but there is none. So please just be nice because I mean I'm used to getting those types of comments and I'm used to being on social media and seeing fake things but Glenn is not he's not used to people attacking him and making up rumors about him so please don't please don't please don't please don't don't fucking do that to him for real it makes him sad so yeah yeah that's all um I love you so much thank you so much for all the love and I'm going to continue to post TikToks like usual, like like normal. And I know people are going to be like, wow, can't believe she's smiling and happy after going through a breakup. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, I am. And yes, Glenn is happy too. But we do cry behind closed doors. I'm just not going to be posting that. But yeah. Anyway, I love you so much. Okay, this is the view right now. No, and Glenn said he's going to sing for me to make it more romantic.